Hi, good morning. I am Dr. Vikant, working as a senior cardiac anesthetist at Ashwada Hospital, Sikindrabad. We as a team uh, operate all complex congenital heart diseases, minimally invasive cardiac surgeries, ascending aortic dissections, complex dissections, as well as complex cardiac work in cath lab. We have uh, come through this child who has come from Zambia recently, uh, a two-year child weighing around 9.5-10 kg weight with uh, tachypnea and distress. He is present to, uh, to us with uh, uh, rare congenital heart disease. On evaluation, we found that he has a TAPVC, which is uh, a complex congenital heart disease where the blood from the lungs doesn't reach the heart and there is mixing of blood happens because of connecting with the impure blood. This child, when we pre-operative evaluated, this child has moderate pH with tachypnea with a saturation of around 78% to 76% with a heart rate of around 130 to 140. We thoroughly evaluated the child, we went through the 2D echo and uh, followed with surgical instructions and we have posted the child for the complex congenital heart disease. We After surgery, we went into the child for about two consecutive days with uh, all inodiretors and nebulizations. We extubated electively this child after the surgery. We gone through the complex echoes postoperatively continuously and uh, that person, the child is fine, doing good. Hello, good morning. Uh, I am Dr. P. V. Naresh Kumar, the Chief Cardiothoracic Surgeon and Transplant Surgeon at Yashoda Hospital, Sikindrabad. So we as a team here, uh, we have uh, a complete team of 10 doctors who do all uh, complex congenital heart surgeries, heart transplantation, heart and lung transplantations, minimal invasive cardiac surgeries and even we do total arterial revascularization and valve repairs. So this child who came to us from Zambia and he was a two year old child and on uh, uh, they uh, communicated us uh, uh, by sending his reports through mail and all where we saw that he had something called a total anomalous pulmonary vein connection. So as you all know uh, that the heart has four chambers in which there are two chambers which receive the blood one from the right side and one from the left side. So in his condition the chamber which receives the blood from the left side so which is the main oxygenated blood of the heart was not reaching the heart that means it was disconnected so one chamber of the four chambers one chamber has got disconnected and it was connected to the heart through a small channel and a very small hole in the heart so there was a mixing of the left and the right side of the blood and the blood was not reaching to the left side so the child was not able to pump his blood he was not pump his left side of the heart had grown small and right side of the heart had grown very big and pressures were very high on the right side so when we got these reports we called the child to our center and evaluated him and find out found out that uh, the child could be operated in fact at their place they said that the child had no hope and they in fact told him to take him home and just be on medicines. But when we did a detailed uh, echocardiography with our cardiologists, Dr. Aditya and Dr. Sashikant and Dr. Uh, Raj Shekhar, who are the senior cardiologists with us, we found that he could be operable and we did his all investigations and then posted him for surgery. When we posted him for surgery, it was uh, we put him on a heart-lung machine that is cardiopulmonary bypass, where uh, where we need a very sophisticated machine, and which has to give circulation, maintain the circulation when we are doing the surgery, and the heart chamber which was separated from the three chambers of the heart, we dissected out that chamber separately, and we made a way by which we can connect this chamber to the heart. So in that way the left side blood is now entering into the left side of the heart and the baby is able to pump the blood in a normal fashion. In this condition once we do the surgery and the baby recovers, now the baby is, child is recovering very well, uh, he is just 7-15 uh, days from surgery and uh, 
he is doing very well and in a month's time he should be absolutely normal and he should not have any other problem for the rest of his life his heart would be absolutely normal like any other normal person's heart and he will grow a normal life to be you know he can go to his school he can even play any you know, uh, games and even when he becomes big he can do his work and join job and do anything like a normal man so this uh, type of surgeries we do regularly at our yashoda hospital sikandrabad center which is having a very advanced neonatology and a pediatric department our neonatologist we have five neonatologists who round the clock maintain our uh, neonatology icu and we have four pediatric uh, pediatricians who are also intensive care specialist and they take up very critical patients and uh, we we are in continuous coordination with them in management of our patients and then with this uh, complete teamwork of all the doctors the pediatrician the neonatologist our anesthetist and intensivist and the cardiac surgeon and the cardiologist we form a complete team where the child any child with even complex heart disease can recover quickly we can say maybe within even the most complex cardiac surgery can recover within 10 days and we can send them uh, hell and hearty thank you my name is miriam m zulu from zambia lusaka we are here in india with my sister in law for dumisani's operation the problem started last year in uh, in may when he had a cough we had taken him to the clinic where he was given some medicine to cure his cough a week later he started coughing again then we had to take him back to the clinic he was given some medication again then we went home he was fine later on he started coughing again then we took him back to the clinic where it was we were told that he had severe pneumonia From there we were referred to the University Teaching Hospital in Zambia Lusaka where he was admitted for 5 days suspecting bronchitis then he was he, he was put on medication that was subutum for 5 days where where they used to put him on uh, nebulizing for every after 6 hours the later on he had improved and we were discharged we went home but some week a few weeks later he started coughing again at a certain point we were told that by the doctors from university teaching hospital in zambia we were told that there's nothing that can be done the whole thing was complicated and the operation couldn't take place there and we were only told that we just have to wait upon the time to come the baby will not grow and yeah, at a certain time the baby will have to die and so we had lost hope that's when we were encouraged by the indian doctors that came that no this can be done in india then later on we contacted india and we were advised to talk to one of the doctors in yashoda hospital in india that's where we had taken our baby to zambian government the minister of health helped us with everything and everything was set for us to travel to india that's how we came here in india for an operation we arrived here on the 17th 17th of may 2019 and on saturday we had all the tests done on the baby and everything came out fine and he was set for an operation on monday the 20th of may the operation was done it took more than 6 hours but everything was fine later on the baby came out perfect and everything was good he was kept in the icu for 4 to 5 days for observation where we were discharged on saturday saturday that was on the 25th of may And now here we are the baby is okay playing very well breathing very well 
We are just we came here for review today and everything came out fine. We want to appreciate the doctors that did an operation on the baby. We want to say thank you. The doctor who did that operation on the boy, his name is Naresh Kumar. We want to say thank you to Dr. Naresh Kumar and the entire team that helped him. All in all, we want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for everything.